April the 3rd, 2021 it is. I did promise to you video about my cousin. Um, who got the same issue going on as I did. Um, he became cancer poisoned what result as a result spread onto his uh, gland nodes lymph nodes sometimes in 2001 it was something like this 2001 I'll give you the estimate the year was about 2001 he was not even sure where exactly that stuff happened, but on the MK Ultra, he was involved in MK Ultra along other cousin from Bela Kraina from day one since 1995. This is the closest family of mine. These are cousins that are very dear to me, very important to me. These cousins are very important to me. And I had no idea that something like this could separate us completely away from one another. Now, because I grew up with them, oftentimes with my mom when I would pay the visit to Bela Kraina, I had no one to play with. We would go to some boring village, and the only hope for me, this is where my grandma was, the only hope for me was if uh, one of these two would come uh, to pick me up with bike or something like this and take me away from there, uh, or some adventure or something like this, or would come to spend some time. Then I had some other cousins too. Uh, but uh, it was like boring, you know, I was always looking into something interesting, you know, and um, the day I learned about him having this issue, it was not a good day for me. Sometimes in 2001, Both of these cousins got involved in it. To be quite honest, I hated MK Ultra with a passion. I didn't make, there was no difference between like a total strangers or family involved in MK Ultra. No. The lady you're about to hear is a wife of cousin who so far did not get poisoned or something like that um, but his brother did she had an aunt uh, she's gonna say something in Alaska or something like that and um, when I was brought to these people I was just completely totally totally dismissive I I thought in my head that when they took it like like people that were not related to the family I thought that they are fucking mad from the moment number one like I felt like instead of you calling the police help me out you behave in the same way like other random people do this is just the way it was um, then it was, uh, I felt that they started to do the same thing like other people did, take me around and stuff like this, and it was all kinds of situations that develop out of it. The conflict grew within into total, my total rejecting this whole thing and so on and so forth, really unpleasant and for me and for the area. Um, 
the cousin Tomas that got poisoned would take me occasionally also to Bosnia to meet and Serbian and Bosnian people both sides whatever to him it was as he claimed he was very pro Yugoslav it didn't matter to him whether you are a Croat you are a Slovenian you are a Bosnian or whatever you are uh, for him you were the same it claimed to me that to him it mattered not the Stanko you hear now the cousin became a good friend of the Lukashenko from Belarus when Russians came here they liked him because he looked like he had the look of somebody like almost like a typical look for a Belarus guy so typical that Lukashenko when he saw him he said oh this is this is this is this is this is the kind of people this is for our people this one is like from our country that's how typical of a Belarus guy now that in Bosnia and Herzegovina you have inside of the Bosnian movement, inside of the Bosnian fraction, fraction, very, very deep infiltration of the Chetniks from Serbia, that's a fact. And I don't care what anybody says. For that same matter, but not as frequent you don't know what is who is on the other side either when you get politically involved in it you don't know anything about what the fuck can happen to you at just about any time and i already explained because it's my cousin did not even dream about that stuff when he started cousin thomas is his name thomas when he started to cry to me in 19 uh, in 2001 with his wife they became like when i came they became like they he completely lost it oh he turned like a baby he turned like uh, no more like a adult grown-up man no lo no longer like somebody who you wouldn't trust him another person into guardianship or whatever but he started and then he got fucking lost completely and it was like somebody like from let's say like a kids from grammar school he did not have anything that he could explain and he couldn't hold anything he he was like i, I will fucking choke you i'll fucking choke you i'm poisoned they fucking poisoned me because of you you fucking did you ta 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 a wife too she was about to jump into my face whatever i don't blame them i don't blame them when that shit happened to me for things to get even worse for him I felt like what I want to do is just go like this and just slap him like a baby just like boom so that I would wake him up and I was drugged up just like this and I said to myself if I was not drugged up I would have taken on you right now like you you had no idea what I would want to do back then to you the thing is, he didn't have fucking idea what the Chetniks did to me in Belgrade in 1996 that I was thrown on a table, on a surgical table and stabbed with the needles and shit. He had no fucking idea. The stuff he was talking to me about, I was trying to tell him, I was trying to explain to him, was already done to me or through, through another procedure, not through the poisoning. Back in 1996, and so I felt like you are like a fucking baby crying to me about stuff like this. If you would allow me to explain to you, I would explain to you, but I just didn't get time. And when he started to just da 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 which is completely understandable. It's just when shit like this happens to you, you see it from your perspective but the person that is drugged up see it from a completely different perspective you're not interested in even hearing his reality even that you are not the one who is drugged up and the person in front of you is defenseless and he is drugged up and you don't allow him to explain to you what exactly goes on 
which I don't resent him in any, absolutely in any way. Even that he said later on that all kinds of stupid shit that they're gonna do the, to me, they're gonna do the same thing to me, and I don't know what, and tra 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 tra. He threatened me also, they're gonna do the same thing to me, and so on and so forth. The thing is that they did not do the same thing to me. By the time he got his cancer shit going, they already did even a, a rehearsal to ensure that Donald Trump would not be guilty because it was a Donald Trump that got me to Belgrade in 1996. And they started to spread this shit with idea to protect Donald Trump. Unto other American test subjects so that it would the, uh, the fault, the blame for what happened to me in 1996 the least, at least, it would be distributed, it would become like a collateral fault, something that nobody could complain about because it was other people that happened to, and it did not happen in 1996, therefore it's okay, it's a normal thing. That's, what, that's how they, they cleaned, that's how they cleared Donald Trump of blame. Russians did. Russians did this shit. And it's how Serbs Chetniks got a technology, a cancer, a cancer technology, the machines, the technology, everything necessary to cure even this type of cancer, whatever it was, from the United States of America. They delivered to them, to Belgrade, to the institute, to the, to the main hospital, whatever that is, they do it. So no offense, nothing personal, uh, I didn't took personal, but by then, the issue he was talking about was already already so fucking exploited against me that what he saw, because he resented me greatly, that's why I took time to explain this, he and his wife, when the two saw how I behave, basically completely disregarding, like nothing, like this I was when the two told me about this stuff. This was not, this was not from my side, as they claimed that I'm fucking evil. You know, it was like this, is it, it? Because he was like, Whoa, you know, hysterical became. You know, you tell him, and it's like, the guy is like, uh, not affected by anything. And this is, um, he, you know, no, no. The thing is that this shit is political, so much political shit it was that judging a person under this kind of circumstance is fucking insane. The only thing I can say is that uh, I'm happy I did not go completely insane along the way because you would never find out what exactly went on today. You would have thought about me, God knows whatever you would want. Nobody will really tell you what exactly happened. How he got his cancer, as he stated alone, he was not even sure. Was it in Slovenia or was it in Bosnia? And I, as I stated, Alexander Vucic infiltrator, infiltrated a Bosnian movement, a Muslim movement, through the psychological warfare using this very case for the Bosnian Serbs to example me to the Bosnian Serbs as an evil and the second thing what can be done with us with me what you can do with him whatever the fuck you wanna do look at him you treat him you do you punch him you spit him you do this and he's nothing you tell him you kill him you can kill him right now in this moment this and that he hyped Bosnian Serbs I got on average 30 death threats wherever I would go. Now I did the resented cousin because he saw some nasty stuff against me over there and that. And when he started to talk to me about this and would not even allow me to explain him that kind of stuff, I was, yes, very dismissive and even insultive. who got him, how he got him, because he was treated, he was well treated by these people, whenever he would bring me down there, 
he does not know, he alone does not know what exactly happened how was it the food was it a drink they sip him inside was it in Slovenia was it over there he will never know exactly but yes he suffered tremendously you're gonna hear the cousin saying that he did not that it was not painful to him bullshit he suffered tremendously I remember him very well he suffered tremendously from the beginning when it all started it did not but like two years after that as it went down the road it was a tremendous tremendous horrific suffering because it didn't work something like that it was implications and maybe even some more God knows what what happened to him I have no idea but I know this shit dragged on and dragged on for him and it was not a fucking day I wouldn't think about him not a single day I would not remind myself of him always I thought about him not a day would pass by that I would not think about him he would go to Ljubljana when I would return from the US in 2006 I wanted to see him and it was just uh, totally totally weird situation at the time I would not even want to think about I didn't want to know anything about it uh, meaning about MK Ultra because I deemed that if I would start thinking about MK Ultra I would eventually have to go out after the whole thing since this shit took me years to explain to the world exactly what went on I didn't want to go through this shit you want to go and lose I don't know uh, be rated as an insane and you, you think these videos are easy you have no idea how easy this shit is you have no idea uh, it takes me all kinds of stuff I do crazy stuff to get over with it and move on from one video to another they're not easy they're not easy to announce videos you don't go and do it like this like you told me you just go and you play the audio recording and you just do this you just do this well first of all you have to get the proofs so that you have something to talk about that's number one thing the second thing every one of these videos it was I could write about every person almost involved in MK Ultra, a single book because this shit went on this shit goes on for 26 years this shit actually went on for no less than 23 years at times I would spend months under MK Ultra. my pants under MK Ultra were always wet because I piss in them if you want to know but if somebody is subjected to MK Ultra practices like I was, look at his pants. If the pants are wet, this person is likely under MK Ultra. Uh, they may come up with some other stuff. Later on, they did with some other solutions. They would put me whatever diapers. I have no idea what. But from the beginning, it was just how they have hidden that fact. They brainwashed me on like a one million occasions. Just as a man, as, as many times as the individual can piss in pants. Over the course of the day, God knows how many times, a person would go piss in his pants. Uh, piss. They could pee. On each occasion I would be with a person and he would brainwash me on where I'm not supposed to go and release myself when gathering the proofs the day when you will be reintroduced into this environment don't think about uh, don't think about doing this here because they can see you this and ta 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 ta, -ta. I wouldn't do this if it was not like this that 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 this is this is the stuff I heard like all the time all the time all the time why were they doing this I actually even think about for me to not even think about the whole thing to say today is what I think about I have a suspicions about that I don't think it was because 
they did it in a way uh, I did this I did this but you're not supposed to they talked about me like some kind of a royal highness or some shit like this like that like I'm a king or something like this ah, my pants were wet I stink when I went inside of the grocery stores with these people when I went inside of the library I stink the people would be what the until they learn what this shit was all about then it was normal then they accepted for me uh, embarrassment trauma from this fact alone it's, it's impossible to explain go try it. go 23 24 25 years old go and walk around like this like a bugger like you're 60 years old bagger who doesn't wash himself or maybe 80 90 year old person that cannot control his urge you don't know nothing about you, you I felt like nobody has the right to judge anything about me really yeah and I felt about if you got yourself into this shit which 99.99% .99 of the people did for the personal gains not really no I I did wrong right now no, it was that 50-50. It was 50% of the people that wanted to help. They were in it from beginning to the end to help. 50% however did for the gains, for the profits. But 50% were in it to help, literally to help. Whether that be Poland, Czech Republic or whatever, or Russia too. There was people like this too. They, they couldn't fucking see this. They didn't like it. For me to say this, um, Alexander Vucic counted on demoralization of the Bosnian people. He counted, he used me as an example on why they should not resist. He wanted to break them. And I think in some cases, when they were not real people committed to their own community, and he tried the same with the Croats, he succeeded. He was all kinds of people. So when you got yourself into this shit, God help you. God help you. Now that this is my cousin, he is. Both of these are my cousins. They are very, very important to me. This is still, these are my cousins. They, who, everybody made the mistakes. Everybody made mistakes. I'm not somebody that would go around to tell you and, you know, um, you know, write these mistakes and, uh, you know, it's going to be a retaliation, you know, something like that in that sense. I'm not. I'm not. Unless I would figure out that your moral character is completely dangerous, that you are totally unacceptable, that you try to go beyond of what was expected from you. Like the case was, let's say, with my niece, with her husband, Mitya Weber. That's a different story. But otherwise, no, no. My cousins are far from that. They did not do any stuff like this. They got themselves into some kind of mental game with their children but based on that mental game I don't take anything harsh against any one of them they are far from anything like this this is still my family um, I hope that if they would treat the situation next time like everyone else they would get a better idea about what this shit is all about because before it was everything about i did it this way we did it this way it was okay we got away with it we got this we got that now it's also about from this side you hear what is going on and now you also get actually to hear what comes out of that stuff the implications of this kind of games
I am gonna go to the audio recording. I could do this probably different, but doing it any different, uh, I don't actually know what exactly they these people think about me. Uh, for me, the most important here is the truth. So they understand. I know that they feel bad about certain things and uh, it's, it's all kinds of in fear and this and that. The thing about it is that we're a family, fuck it. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. It's life. You have to live with it and you have to move on. It makes no uh, sense to think about something that you can't change. You know, you can't change anything about whatever happened you can you can improve certain things you have to work toward improvement for better but the stuff that you can't change you can't change there's nothing you can do this incident gland cancer gland notes the shit that was done to me just through the different uh, aspect or later on also through the poisoning because once they accomplished exactly the injury on a specific location they wanted to accomplish they would go and they would reintroduce uh you know this sound the issues and this shit they were doing that kind of stuff and i know that they couldn't have done that every time through some kind of surgery or some shit like this, but they probably did use some kind of something that would if that would have an effect of this gland nose system, and that shit would then trigger uh, probably um, infection-like uh, God knows um, symptoms, and uh, you know which would be used in MK Ultra, and maybe they use something to release those system after with. God knows medication, God knows what the reliever, what they use, this would go away uh, and then again it would repeat and you know, I don't know, I have no idea what, how this, what exactly, you know, um, they introduced million scenarios, it started from low blood pressure due to low blood pressure actually from the torture sound from the sound torture um to the low pressure um once you would figure out that what was done to you on your gland notes uh to um you know from the white tea which in poland was a knowledge is a racist tea issue um to cocoa that's supposed to lower the pressure uh, to garlic and so on up to the point when there was a talk that you would not even realize what goes on you would just lose and lose and lose your energy until you would just completely like we say in Slovenian sesu, uh, that means completely fall apart completely just we would completely quit on you they compare that with electricity with the phase electricity phase because electricity phase because low current cannot power amperage cannot power appliances and so on with that kind of shit poisoning according to my niece and her husband you should fight one with a vitamin they didn't mention poisoning but they mentioned my age the insults of too many which i got and so on ridiculing cancer issues making fun out of it that's my cousin actually my my niece and her husband media weber that's the shit i'm talking about It would definitely be too late before you realize from all this bullshit that's actually 
a low pressure that you suffer from. Because most likely what they explained to me is inflated gland node that would not allow this liquid to go through and so on and so forth in that sense. And before you would realize that shit, you would already fall apart completely. You would just fade away basically, started to sleep more and more and more and more, be completely, completely without any kind of energy and so on and so forth. And what would trigger also other, I don't know, they taught me, uh, gland nodes, lymph nodes, in the same pattern, you would just die completely. Die out completely. Too many FN theories and no answer on any in Poland. There was only a technician who was involved in MK Ultra at that point in time who also gestured me something about gland nodes, if you remember. And I did place this already on audio. And if I have to, I will repeat again, which didn't make any effing sense to me because I went on a brain scan thinking I have a tumor because that was yet one of another scenarios along the way. They implicate like a million scenarios from the book. This doesn't make sense to talk about. Uh, definitely poisoned politically. The situation took away yet another cousin away from me, from Austria, Christian. He is a brother of Thomas and brother of Stanko. Yet, because of what happened to Thomas, I think Thomas resented me. Uh, probably because of the fear, because of what he saw shit is happening around me, would not even approach me anywhere anymore because of the stuff like that, because of this political BS. So there's a three cousins I basically lost. And it's a very likely that my cousin from De La Kraina, Thomas, was actually Tomas in Slovenian, was actually poisoned because of another, because his mom lives in Austria. That's, that's yet another very, very high possibility because you don't have these people, this, this shit, this you, you know, I don't want to discuss about people like uh, war criminals convicted on a hog you know, I don't want to go about this stuff. People that were involved in Milosevic. This this was the biggest wimpet yet. This was the most violent individual. No, I don't have the words for that. Karadzic and so on. Am I going to go and think about what a total, totally crazy people have in their minds? What they're thinking, contemplating on? I don't think so because I think they have too much going on. This isn't, I don't have a time, life is too short. I hope I get my family back. Uh, think about what I stated to you. Let's go to the audio recording. He did manage to survive my cousin is trying to remind me they were telling me that that you're gonna have to walk a lot that you're gonna have to walk a lot and this and that with this shit uh, in order for you to stay alive they knew about what they are preparing for me these politicians I'm not taking anything personal either I know they have nothing to do with this shit um, the politicians are politicians. If they could, they would want me to blame my papa. They don't, they don't take no responsibility for it. They would want the war between me and my cousins, God knows. People who came to rescue, that would be their preferred option. So that's why what I'm saying is we gotta be a little bit smarter too. We can't take this stuff like the way the politicians would want us to see. The world does, is not exactly the way the politicians would want us to see one is. No. It's more to the world. It's more colorful than just like this. 
It's not so simple. It's not so black and white the way they would want us to see the world is. So you have to open your mind, understand people. And I think always help if you only can help. Let's go to the audio recording and I'm going to have this translated for you. Uh, there was uh, 15 tons of potato. I say 15 tons of potato. Yeah, Tomas came to help me out. Thomas came to help me out last year. This is the guy who was involved from the beginning into this MK Ultra and eventually suffered this poisoning. I have no idea what they have done to him with the gland nodes, lymph nodes, the same thing I have. Um, it, there never was so much potato and sh he came to help me. He never helped me like last year. He came. He and his wife came and they worked and worked and worked and helped. <laughs> the children came, everybody came and they helped with so much work to do on the farm. <laughs> I don't know, there was some stuff they, they, they talked to me about how it's going to be and this and that, that they're going to be all watching the stuff I do. Uh, and stuff like this. I, I don't even know what exactly. She's talking about something damaged potato and uh, uh, I don't know. This is a wife you hear from Stanko, right? From my cousin. Um, and um, she, she is just a, a wonderful lady, a very nice lady. Um, I just, uh, I simply love both of them. I, I love all of them. It's just these people have a, a big misunderstanding about MK Ultra. They have no idea what this is really. Now finally they will understand. Okay, but I realized I learned that people that get themselves into this stuff, they just, more I think that the victim itself see themselves in this scenario. Uh, they become like some kind of addicts to this stuff. I don't know what exactly they find in it, but you know, whatever. So they're talking about uh, potato, a lot of potato being damaged. Poshkodovan, I don't know. She she has a whole, the whole ah um, uh, speech about this Poshkodovan damaged. <laughs> Uh, already 20 year old uh, child, no, <laughs> it's already grew up. Uh, I said, Thomas safe in health of this cancer which he used to have. I decide I'm gonna ask about the cancer that Thomas had. I don't see my cousin Thomas. Uh, I don't see him at all. We don't see each other. I don't see another cousin from Austria. And I want to know what, what is going on. Because I'm doing this stuff about this cancer stuff. Now they probably finally understand how much of this stuff went on. Uh, so that they get an idea. Uh, others too other victims out there that this happened to that this was they were not isolated case this was not isolated case this was just epidemic of this type of stuff so I asked him that he he did save himself right see he managed to get rid of this cancer and the wife says um, uh, it, it stopped it stopped uh, the cancer. It stopped. Um, but she says you never know what, uh, when, because you know this. You don't get rid of it. You just, yeah, it stops. But it's a kind of stuff that 
comes back. Um, Thomas took me to Ljubljana to the ambulance where he would go for this chemo chemotherapist and with his wife and so on. He, I believe that, that, oh yes, yeah, that definitely did explain him about myself and probably that's what make him understand, calm him down, think over about this whole thing. He knew nothing until then, or maybe he knew you see, this is another thing. When it doesn't happen to you, you don't think about it, right? But when it happens to you, it's like uh, I, you go out of your fucking mind. Cousin from Austria told me the first thing you do when you come from Poland. He was talking to me already about this in 2013. He would still come from Austria to meet me during MK Ultra and so on. He told me the first thing you do when you come, you go for this surgery, for this shit, whatever you have. This stuff, you have to get rid of it. Because what's going to happen is, going on a long term, this is the kind of stuff that's going to slow you down, slow you down. And instead of you completing so many, so many tasks, you're going to only complete portion of it. And go in the distance, you're the one who is losing everything. And it's eventually the day comes when you have to do this stuff. He said, the first thing you do is this thing. So he knew very well about this. Both of them knew it. I think they understood. I'm a little bit, which I shouldn't be. I have a feeling they're going to be here one of these days. Disturbed by the fact that, that these people would only see me when it's MK Ultra, but not come to visit me in a real time. You know, but okay, you know. Different people, different issues, different views, whatever. And uh, they tell me that he has this cancer in the lymph nodes. This is the stuff I have spoken to you about for, I don't know, two years. Year. I say, but he did get rid of it, right? He got rid of this this cancer, and and the cousin said, moment for the moment is not progressing. Lymph nodes, lymph nodes all over the body, lymph nodes, gland nodes. Um, do you remember what I told you have happened to me in Lodge with the poisoning? Uh, when I have a gland notes, lint notes, size of a uh, bean, like this, Bul bulges all over the, disregarded, I disregarded it because I saw this American psychologist who would go inside of the hostel, the same place, he went completely insane. He would go in the mirror, look himself in the mirror, see this, and would start to scream from horror. And uh, I don't know, he ran somewhere, back and forth, this and that, come to me to talk to me about this stuff. And this whole thing on uh, MK Ultra was already so crazy to me that when I saw him <laughs> with this stuff, not because I would be plain evil, as he translated this, started to threaten me that I'm dead and I don't know what, but because this shit was already so traumatizing to me that once, hey, you're gonna have a spine broken, you're gonna have this, you're gonna have that, you have cancer, you have this, you have, I don't know what the fuck they do to you, under MKR I was told they're gonna do, uh, that, the only thing I would do when they presented me with this kind of issues, if they would present me like this, like this guy was completely in panic. I started to laugh at him and ridicule him. Eh? Like I pointed finger at him and started, not because it would be funny to me, but because I, I literally compelled, I literally forced myself to psychologically harm him as much as possible. 
listen dude if you're not jacked up and you count on individual on some kind of sympathy empathy from individual that is more far more fucked than you and drugged up uh because you signed for something for whatever you did and shit happens to you yeah i mean if it's an individual that is like this that's gonna sympathize with you okay all right i get it there are people like this i'm sure they, there are people who have a character like that uh this is just not my strategy no apology for that either no apology for anything the only apology i give you is basically my thorough honest explanation about it because i don't believe in apologies anyways i do believe in the logic uh anything less for me is really actually unacceptable let's go on lie it's either a lie or it's uh, a fake empathy a fake uh, whatever it is concern uh or if you would express concern i would actually rate you as crazy because you actually that is f you're the one in a trouble uh and now you would go out there and express some kind of concerns uh for something that somebody is doing uh because of eventually whom you might be suffering i might have been suffering because of the people because of their ambitions that they got me back on the picture and the shit was progressing further and further and further into the worst from worse to the worst situation don't count don't count on me and this psychologist is very dear to me this is a very nice person this psychologist teach me a lot of things he had demonstrated me a lot of things he cared about me <laughs> really really not was not my intention to hurt him in, emotionally in any way but when you present me with an issue like this hey think about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, but she describes me exactly the type of stuff they have done to me in Luch. Uh She says you have like a cucumbers growing all over your body. Uh, bulges. Yeah, this is He says uh, it stopped. Uh, momentary, it stopped. He had a blood good. His blood was all the time. The picture, the blood was all the time good. When he is saying to me this stuff about the blood, that his blood was good, that's what I meant yes, uh, earlier when I spoken to you about the blood. That this cousin insisted me, they insisted me that, that, you, that I need to walk. I don't know that what the fuck I need to do, whatever. The blood is the main, the blood is the main, or you're going to die, I don't know what, blah, 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 blah. You know. Yeah. Uh, the blood that it was a blood good. This is how he survived, basically. And I said, but they don't know where this this came from. How the hell this happened? I ask, in case I would get some more information about it but my cousin from Bela Kraina today knows that I am like a razor I go to the last micromillimeter to the spot to explain exactly what happened I take pride in detailed explanations when it comes to the stuff like this <laughs> he says when I ask about where did he got this stuff, he says it's better you don't know. I know. I know. I know. Did you know? Yeah, this people that you hear, this cousin, also that's his brother. This is really, really, really upset about it. Really, really upset about it. They were very, very hurt, upset because of this stuff. I am very hurt, very upset about this stuff too. I am very hurt, very upset about it. But it was so many people that were hurt, that were upset about this stuff that 
lot a lot of people it's not even us alone that would be upset that would be heard about this stuff it was just so many people not the politicians uh, mom says there we go boys uh, to me and to my father there we go there we go and the wife very nice I like her very much she says when when will you come when will you come I am sure that you were in Chernobyl now uh, for um, a Christmas uh, no uh, blah 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 you know I was in Poland uh, mom didn't ask me to go there then they had this corona restrictions they would not even allow to go let's say to Bela Kraina from Novo Mest and stuff like this this is crazy <laughs> I asked him, were you in Austria? Did you go to Austria to your mom, Slavica? Was Christian here with you? Did he came to visit you? This is his brother also from Austria. And I think this was the main reason why they did this shit, why they did to them. He says, no, they were not here. Uh, he only goes to Tomas, the same thing like with me. He only goes to Tomas. No. no, he was, no, he was not. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, Stanko's wife is demonstrating a baby uh, from, I think, her daughter from Petra. To my mom and they watch this on the on the computer she's demonstrating her <laughs> so i say he only goes to tomas no uh christian my cousin from austria <laughs> yeah he only goes uh, up to tomas that's all there is <laughs> to i tell him i'm happy uh, I'm really relieved that he no longer has this shit with this gland notes. Um, and says Stanka says, hey, you know. At that time when I uh, speak to him, I am not uh, exactly, uh, I didn't exactly picture, I'm still thinking, I'm thinking about everything about what went on basically. The first thing that happened was the shit started in Bela Kraina, you know, with the locals over there. Uh, that came from somewhere else, they brought this negativity, whatever. Um, and Thomas, he didn't want to have anything to do with this MK Ultra anymore, but he still got himself on a picture. He wasn't happy about this stuff. This wasn't easy. This he had uh, he started to have a problems because of my behavior with other people in Bela Kraina. I was not easy to handle. Um, then in two thousand and one bad went went from bad to the worst the situation developed like I have explained uh, but Stanko this cousin he wouldn't let go he still he still wanted to help me out he still was around he still uh, was looking for the ways to uh, he was convinced that I'm gonna somehow make it and this and that bad stuff bad stuff uh, at this point as I speak to him again I'm still thinking about um, this was not recorded now this was already recorded a while ago um, where exactly when it comes to Slovenia would be this and that and then I reminded myself that he also would go to Bosnia that also 
that was also another factor not only Slovenia and he was not quite sure certain uh, about where how this and that that's a very very dangerous area uh, when it comes to the cancer issues the Serbs Chetniks poisoned over there if you would go to the cancer rates and stuff like that probably go and see the statistics if they publish that kind of stuff and you will understand what exactly I am talking about. Serbs in Bosnia are far more radical than Serbs in Serbia. Uh, you talk about the Vojvodina, that's one thing. That's more soft, not not radical at all, not radical at all. Then you have a Serbia, radical, very radical, very very radical, very <laughs> no, you, no. I already explained the issue about Serbia, and then you have a Bosnia. That's when you have people that are completely totally radicalized that's like place that I don't know about you but I don't want to I don't even want to know about uh, simple as this short and to the point I asked about the chemotherapies and stuff like this he doesn't get them no more uh, mom says that he didn't felt so bad uh, with his health and Stanko says no that he did not oh he did 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 I saw it I saw what what went on I saw exactly what went on I saw I was inside of the clinic I I was he went to the two clinics I, I he took me to his clinic I was inside of those clinics. I can give the description of what it looks like. The chemotherapy, are you kidding me? That shit kills you. It takes away from you all the energy you have. No, it was much, much, much worse. It was nothing like they say. It was, no, no. Oh, no. Not at all, no. He said he didn't have a pain. No, no, he didn't have a pain because he didn't say, because he did not complain. No, that's the thing, but he did. No, this I already said. Then it repeated to him. He said he did not have no pain or nothing, and then at one time it repeated. Uh, the grandma still talking about her grandchild, uh, wife from Stanko is a grandma, proud one. Um, and my mom is watching this on the computer with her while I talk to the cousin. We talk about the cars, about uh, he bought a car, uh, Volkswagen. This is where we already are leaving. These are just the excerpts of the entire conversation. I deem that I'm not going to go and put the whole thing on the internet, so I, I just got um, pieces here together so that, it, that you understand about my cousin that this I'm not making this shit up, that this is real. Ne bara, 
he works at uh, I ask if he still works at the pump at the gas station and he tells me he still works at the gas station but only four times for four hour uh, he cut the time to half uh, work hours to what he had before like myself I also work four hours he is uh, he gets the retirement disability retirement he works half of work time he says uh, we have to work so till we get this pension if we're gonna get this pension whatever a retirement basically he says, one more year and i'm retired he says <laughs> now my mom and uh, his wife talk about america uh, how they're gonna go to america the both are laughing <laughs> Um, what can I tell you? Ay, ay. When I came over there and she started to talk to me about her aunt in America and this and that, boy, I drugged up. I already talked to you about what this looks like under MK Ultra. Boy, 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 boy. I thought that that I'm gonna. I thought that I'm gonna go insane completely. I was you drugged up you in this kind of situation somebody start to talk to you how it's they have a relative from america do it do it you have no idea how much i would run from america they it was bizarre when the slovenian politicians would tell me return back to slovenia i have no fucking idea how much i would love to return from america back to slovenia the thing is i didn't have where and when I did return, it was the sharks that waited me here to rip me apart. I returned when I had no choice anymore, when they blocked me in America from employment completely. I was like this. It I am not going to go into further explanations. Uh, she's got an aunt in America, yes. Uh, uh, she had, the aunt died. Her wish never came true to visit her in Alaska, whatever. She has reminded me, but she told me, I will never tell anything about what went on. I will never, I will never tell you this and that. So she is. She actually told me that she's gonna do this because I was so bad and is gonna do this so that when she was telling me about this stuff and because I didn't want that she's gonna use this to cover up the real account and so on and so forth messing with me now these are really really nice people I like her a lot um, Now, I even end up, ended up losing cousins over this MK Ultra shit. Now, like this. Uh, I don't actually even... I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, the kids went to America and stuff like this. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know, the aunts in America, one died, another one died, I don't know where. Petra was in America, that's her daughter. Her daughter. Uh -huh. is Krania. This is a neighbor who was involved in MK Ultra, who bought the parcel from the neighbor just because of me, basically. And he has a beautiful daughter in that and this and that and travel. Uh -huh. That's just my cousin. My cousin is uh, 
I like him a lot anyways. Uh, it wakes a lot of memories in me. His talk, the way he talks. He is uh, a character, interesting. So that's basically it. Yes, this is what the whole video is. Then we go apart from one another and I kept promise just as I have stated the case would be if you have a mom that immigrated to Germany or to Austria or whatever or a cousin you have or whatever you have you're suspicious you you're you are listed as basically as a good to go this is the way it is. Now, the thing is that my cousin, I already have explained what kind of person this was. But, as I stated earlier, I would not go into mind of Vladimir Putin or Alexander Vucic or Borat Pahor or uh, these people, even that my cousins right now disagree with what I state uh, and analyze them. Because there's just too much shit in their heads that goes on. I would not go and now I do know for exactly 100% fact that it was a Serbian fraction how do I know for 100% not even 99.99 .99. because the Serbs in Bela Kraina life threatened not only me but they life threatened my cousin in case I would open my mouth against, um, basically if I would dare to tell the truth, they life threatened, they life threatened that if I would do this, that he will get killed 100%, that they're going to do it again to him, that's one of the things. So this opinion, it's not opinion, it's a fact, I state my cousins even asked me not to tell, not to say, not political, not this, not that. Um, against the will of my cousins. My cousins actually told me that if something is going to happen to them, then they're going to do this to me and Tralava. 100% certainty, with a certainty today I state to you, that my cousin was poisoned by the Serbian radical fraction either in Bela Kraina or in Bosnia and Herzegovina in 2001 anyways the one plane with the cancer pills was a Vladimir Putin Alexander Vucic and Slovenian Borut Pahor that's how I know even more so I remember the Serbs from Bela Kraina I know who they are that life threatened that were brave enough to step in front of me and life threatened during MK Ultra. I remember that stuff very well. My cousins do not embrace this. My cousins have nothing to do with it, but I'm not going to be a hostage or will go down with idea that somebody's going to hold my cousins for more of the stuff they have done to them as a hostages basically like this against uh, I wouldn't say this is a free speech this is a war this is a war declaration on us who were born here natives here in Slovenia we are viewed in the same way as Milosevic Karavidzic regarded Croats during the war they regard them as a Ustasha they regarded Muslim people as mentally ill as ill as degenerated fit for extermination this is basically how we natives here in Slovenia regarded this time date today is this here ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching this video till next time <laughs> Ja rekao da neki ne bo vredi. Ja rekao da neki ne bo vredi. Ja rekao da neki ne bo vredi.
ne gnili, kaj smo govorili, poškodovan. Pa to bili kanto tukaj za, za dober krompir, tam je za debeli, tam je za dober, tam je pa za poškodovanje. <laughs> to za skos ne smo jali, tako da se bo deta še močilo. Če pridi že ven tretji rad za skos, ne? Veset leti bi šel, ja. No. In je, in je bil popolno ograničeno tri minuto za roko, tomaš, ki je poberal. On se je rešil tega roka, kaj bo, ne? Ja, se je rešil. Se je rešil. To zdaj miruje, to je zdaj kolin na leno škevu. In kje, kaj, s kje mu on... Na rifa, na bezgavkah. Na bezgavkah. Kje, na bezgavkah? V sod. V sod. Ko imaš na bezgavkah, je v sod. To ti, ki prej, ko on tako se je gledala, to imaš tako kumrce, ne? Imaš bezgavkah, ko ti je zrasto. Ja, ne, jaz. Ne, cipi, 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 Dobro, da se teda pošli po kukli, da bi se pa pršli, kukli, kukli. Ja si bil v Avstriji? V Slavici? Če nam to lepo vidim. Kristen tukaj pa tako. Nič. Pa meni ima. Če vidite, ali tam ni? Pa mislim, ni bil, ne, ampak ni bil pri meni. Je, čak je, ni bil, ni bil. Pogledajte, da on na vse. Ne, gore, samo nič pa to vidi. Sem tudi do Tomaža pridel. Boste bo pole pozel prvo, pa se bo pokazal, kako je lepi. Do Tomaža pridel, da. A vidite? Vidite. A zdaj se bo pa obrnil, da vidite. Vesel se bo Tomaž še ti zdarija nima, s temi bezgovkami. A ne. Se bo lepo vidi. Tako. Zdaj se vidite, da se tu dost ukvarjajo z njih. Petra, Petra. Ajo, tjena, da je vsako. Kaj bi on mu tu s temi bezgavkami je tu? Ne vem, kaj pa no, pride. Ja, da, po celi stanovanji on prejde. Po celi stanovanji ga je. Pa je še na kemoterapije pa to, ne? Ne, da je. Na jebu je po Kristusu je. Ko on pride, kaj je Tomaš? Ne, 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 ni tako strašno slabo počutil. Ne, ne. Ni se slabo počutil. On je bo skus, bi rekel, tak. Ni, njega ni, mislim. Zdaj, bolelo ga ni nič, ne? Mene je, naprimer, če te boli koljeno, ono je, vse znate sami, ne? Ali pa če te boli križ. Njega ni bolelo nič, ne? Samo onda je pol enka se Pa enkrat se je ponovilo, on nekaj se pljučal, ne, se je voda se mora vrlo malo. Voda se mora vrlo malo. Pa to še bila pogodnike. Da, pogovarja se sam s sabo. Pa pride kaj dolgo. Dobro, mislim k vam. Da, da, pride. Pa bom pole, pa bom bučil drugo dal, tako da malo ko obaga na več, ne bom bučil. Če je bila pet let, ne bom še na istem mestu. Pa Tomaš pa je kanduje za Tomaš. Prvo daj si ne sjana, pa to še imamo pa je, pa se je pače predikati. Prvo daj za. Ne mora, ali kaj? Pa to pet, pa še nekaj sem spa pila, ki pitla, še lončke. Še na pumpi, po štiri ure, da? Štiri ure? Da, tako ja. Invalidsko je štiri upokojen, štiri dela. Kaj da bomo videli, moram jim odpelati. Ono bo jako, da se nekaj veliki bodo promrkala, da se bodo zaprehišče na vidu. Treba nekaj je dočakati tu penziju, če bomo dočakali, ne? Mene pa li še eno leto malo manj. Samo še eno leto, ne? Wow. Malje mrač pri nekaj penzi, sporozaj so se mrač. Kulj, pa tu v obisah, kaj smo jaz v eno leto zajebo, ne? Mislim, mislim. Vse je bilo zmenjeno, pa je umla teta na Aljaskih, bilo na Aljasko bi šli. Tamo oni so imeli vsake dve leti bitnih v Amerike in kot skuvatnih v Amerike. In uno leto, ko smo se zmenili, da gremo na Aljaskih, pa še imamo jaz, da bom to vse plačo, pa je bo naša mama taka. In še uno teta na Aljaskih, bilo je. To je Enrique Daš, Enrique Daš iz Kranja. To je mama je od tu doma. To je Enrique Daš iz Kranja. Mama je od tu. Da, 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 da
Не съм дъсел, да съм те видел. Пасе, лавко покрития, те пасе си тя огласите. Не съм дъсел, да съм дъсел. Не? 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 Не?